conversation when it goes live. Um, we are live. And we are <laughs> it's live. Like, it's like magic. <laughs> it just kind of happens. Um, I'm going to make sure we are actually live because I did this the other day and um, I wasn't even live. And and I wasn't, just so you were chattering away. Actually, you've just come up on my phone. Oh, there Hoping we go. You're live. You're live. We are live. Hey, that's good. That that's good, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm here with Sue to talk about Pilot Your Business. Sue's one of my amazing one-to-one -one clients and smashing it at the moment. Um, properly smashing it. <laughs> like, it kind of mm. yesterday feels like a bit of a light bulb moment, um, which we will talk about in a minute. But did you just want to um, introduce yourself? Tell everyone who you are and what you do who I am and what I do. So, okay, I'm Sue, <laughs> uh, Sue from Manchester. I help women who are um, struggling with body positivity, um, self-esteem, um, lack of confidence, do that, or food bar photographer. It's a very empowering experience from start to finish. It's just amazing. And the women are incredible. It's just, I want to help as many women as I possibly can. I love it. Amazing. I love that kind of mission when the mission is just to help as many people as you can. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, never put a number on it. Help as many as we can. Absolutely. No, exactly. It's nice when it's it's that far reaching. Um, so you came you came into Helen's five day challenge. Um, and I remember seeing you really early on because mm. it's not often we get boudoir photographers kind of coming into into that world. Um, so yeah, I remember you you sticking out quite quite quick. Um, what was kind of your what were your reasons for like? Well, I mean, we'll take it back to there really because the five day challenge was where you came into my world. Um, what was it that made you feel like you needed to to do something different? Because <clears throat> we're all on everybody's on the social media platforms out there, and. I am a firm believer, well, I say this a lot, that you can be very proficient at what you actually do, but marketing it, selling it, doing, running a business is a whole different ball game, isn't it? There's so much to learn. So yes, I've been doing like other things and it's become quite relevant recently that LinkedIn is a big platform that I've just not been using and I needed to learn more about it. And yes, so, right Helen Pritchard she's doing a five-day challenge I'm going to go on there and I just loved it right from the very beginning it's one of those when you know you know I just loved everything about it it was yeah it was it was brilliant so that's where my journey began only a few weeks ago as well as a month ago I know. I've I learned know, so crazy, much right? already yeah it's massive. you've been working yeah. with me officially for 15 days as well <laughs> I thought like this early on. is it's that like, all it's been started. It we feels like a lifetime already, time. in a good way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Just part of the furniture now. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's one of those things when I when I started doing pilot your business, that like I always said I didn't really want to do longer than three months. Because for me, I quite like that intense nature of just get in, do the work, get out, <laughs> like come do the thing. For me, that you know, there are programs that work, whether you can be in for a year. I mean, we talk about this with the LinkedIn mastermind and the business mastermind. You need to be there for a year because you need to implement it and change it and see it work and all those kind of things. Whereas I think the work that I do, you almost need to just do it. Just do it and move I think on. it depends where you are at in your business as well because people are at different levels too, aren't they? So if you are just starting out, then you've got so much more to learn as well and to take in. Um, but I think that's where Helen's, you know, the LinkedIn mastermind comes in for the full year and then you're giving that extra boost and that intense, <laughs> get it done, do it. Yeah, it does just, it just feel intense motivation. sometimes. <laughs> when you've got five one-to-ones back to back and you're like, oh, this is getting really intense now. But we're all helping so each other as well. It's great. I love the little community that we've got. It's great. <clears throat> yeah, we all help each other, don't we? And I've chatted quite to quite a few of them already, you know, as one-to-ones. Um, I'm speaking to a, somebody else later on this afternoon. And, um, yeah, it's good. I like that. It's community. Yeah. It is a, it's a community, isn't it? Community is everything. We talk about this again mm. in, in Helen's world, that the community is 
it's just the thing, isn't it? It's just it's the thing you need because you know I can help you guys and I can I can help you quite a lot with stuff. But sometimes you just need someone else. And you know, for you, I think one of the one of the things that we could have never tried to create, but having another photographer in the group is really interesting. That it dynamic is. of having two of you doing very different things but very similar and at different stages. It's yeah, the dynamic is really interesting. Yeah, it's good. And something I've noticed as well, we're talking to a few other people within the group and within the LinkedIn Mastermind, that a lot of our businesses are based on building confidence and empowering women from different angles, different reasons. But um, yeah, we have that same, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We both, we're all um, on that kind of same journey in helping yeah helping people whether it's male or female but um yeah for different reasons so yes yeah, so we can all boil it back down to confidence and empowering and yeah. self-love <laughs> self-love it's all about the self-love yeah. <laughs> i mean what's really interesting for me is when you have these when you have this group of people who you know everyone comes together because they're investing in me but then you end up investing in each other and you actually realize that the val the fundamentally the values that everybody has filter down so the vast majority of my values in business come from Helen you know that's why I gravitate to Helen and why I work with Helen and then you guys have obviously gravitated to me because of my values and then and you tend to realize that it, it just happens like that like it's it something about it seems quite surprising that everybody ends up having the same core values but at the same time it's not surprising because we're all in the same space doing the same yeah. thing yeah Exactly. You we're all drawn to the same kind of people, aren't we? That's what it is. You either like somebody or you don't. You either think this is gonna work or it's not. So yeah, that's it. We're all the same kind of really lovely, nice people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. With the same mission in life to help. <laughs> yes, the same mission, um, that word again, mission. <laughs> mission. Always comes back back down to mission. Yeah. So we talk a lot um with Pilot Your Business about um blocks and barriers and, and overcoming things like that and I just wanted to touch a little bit on your new call sales process yeah, <laughs> that we've I... very quickly put into your business um <laughs> the two barriers that, that people always have um, they don't want to be seen on video so we're overcoming that one right now um mm. and they don't want to pick up the phone and call their clients so what when we talked about that, about you calling clients, how did that, what did you, what did you think? Well, I'd already realized that I had all these clients sat there that I hadn't called, but I still hadn't, I would planned to do it, but I wasn't really, I was still procrastinating, I think on it, shall I say. Yeah. Um, and I think for me, it's always a fear of, I don't want to intrude on people's day or if if I'm on a call and they've booked in a call with me, I'm yeah, happy to go, you know, because I know they're sat there expecting it, but just calling someone, even though they've given me their number, so I have their permission, it's fine. They've asked me to really, then um, I'm not a, a fan. But yes, when we had um, our chat yesterday within the group, then on, Paul call. I'm going to say call Paul then. That sounds like a series <laughs> call. <laughs> Everyone's going to start calling me then. <laughs> yeah. That's not the call uh, to action. Don't call me. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. And you set out a framework. You went through it. And I thought, oh, it was like a light bulb moment for me. And I thought, this is it. This is great. I know what I want to say, but this breaks it down and puts it into a framework that I understand why I'm actually saying it and mm. how it actually works. And yeah, and there was, I felt the pressure had been taken off a little bit as well. So Amazing. I actually booked, booked two shooting yesterday by following your process mm -hmm. path. I don't know, I was so, mm -hmm. what a so as well. It was such good motivation. Yeah, it was great. So it works. That's the thing. It does work. The process. Yeah. I think a lot of the time it's, you know, and I, I, I firmly believe this. It's, you know, I, we talk about this in aviation, actually, that it's it's the knowledge behind why you're doing something. Like as humans, we inherently, if somebody tells you to do something, you don't want to do it. You know, like we always used to have this thing in aviation. If they, you know, if they told you you needed to have eight hours sleep, you start to think it through in your head where you're going, well, you know, eight hours in bed will probably be all right. <laughs> and you start to find loopholes and find ways around it and, and find ways out of it. 
when you actually break it down and somebody tells you, but this is why we do it this way, this is the reasons for doing it this way, it gives you permission then to follow the process because you know why we're doing it. And I think for entrepreneurs, when anything is outcome based and it's it's about your client, it's about taking your client to where they want to go, it's not about you, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? You then almost have a duty to pick up the phone and call them because you need to help them. And you can't help them if you don't speak to them. No, yes, exactly. And it was, I think it was that sudden understanding of why I was doing what I was doing. It just, it just all made sense. And I just felt so much better about it as well. Because yes, because you just hit the nail on the head there, Paul, because yes, it was a case of, yeah, I'm realizing now that I'm actually doing this to help you because I want to help you. This is going to be so good for you. It's not a bad thing I'm ringing you. It's a good thing. Um, yeah, exactly. It's just that mindset change, isn't it? Isn't it? All it is. the mindset. It totally is, yeah. And then, you know, as Helen talks about, then the ripple effect of, mm. you know, the person that you phoned and you made them feel good and they're now excited, the the implications that that will have on their day and their weekend and the people around them, you know, it's it's huge, really, when you start to go beyond. Um, and it stops being about you, which is what we yes. want, really. And that's something that I'm beginning, well, I'm asking now, on these calls to the clients and some of them have been through so much and when I actually say to them now so if you did this photo shoot what how would your life change how would it affect your life and I've never asked that before I've never I've never asked it on a call so yeah, so good it was huge and it got them thinking and it's like wow yes and there goes the ripple effect then because obviously then they were thinking about the partners then they were thinking about the families and you know turning all their negative feelings into positive ones it's it's huge isn't it yeah it's life -changing. there's so many it really is life-changing and that's you know we talked about this yesterday divorce just divorce yourself from the outcome marry the process yeah like and that. once you're once you're part of that process and your process is transforming that person's life, like you're, you're in it for the long, the long haul and all those amazing things that they're going to feel on that process. Yes, it will transform their life further down the line, but just being part of that process is, it's really special to be, to be, to be part of it, I think. And I think for us as entrepreneurs, it's almost like a privilege to be, to be there with them on that journey. Yes, it is. I feel so blessed doing what I actually do. And obviously, when I get the really lovely reviews and the things that people say, the wonderful things they say, it's just, wow, I do. I feel so honoured and blessed. But they've chosen me to actually, you know, take them through that journey themselves and, and then to witness the outcome. It's just, yeah. yeah, very lucky, very lucky. Yeah, and this is all the ripple effect for me as well because I help you to help your clients to yes, for them then is, to help their selves mm -hmm. and you know have better marriages have better relationships have have all those things that they they really want because I think fundamentally we all we, we talked about this this morning we all have barriers and blocks and things that are stopping them doing stuff and you know for you being able to get on the phone you're probably overcoming a barrier straight away with your clients you know there's there's something those two people that booked with you yesterday there was something stopping them from calling you and by you calling them you're taking control of the situation for them and empowering them to take the next steps yes because as well these particular ladies they hadn't progressed through my system through like my, my funnel of booking their own calling so I was asking <clears> the question to myself well why why haven't they done that next step it was there they mm. could have easily done it but yeah so I was overcoming their blocks wasn't I by reaching out to them. They had a block for not booking their own calling. So well, that's another way for me to look at it as well. well. <laughs> <laughs> Overcoming barriers is amazing when you can do it, when it's yeah. not a forceful thing, when you're not forcing somebody to do it. Like, you know, when we um, <clears throat> we talk about sales, there's the, there's the, you know, the sleazy salesperson who's like, give me your credit card and buy this thing. And then there's the sales that we do, which is, you know, for me, it comes from Pete Scott and the way Pete Scott trains people is that it's it's all about just allowing them to take the next step. And it's it's fundamentally just helping your clients. Um, yeah. And it's it's just overcoming the barriers. Always find the barrier, I, overcome the barrier. I think it's one of those beliefs that we actually set ourselves, isn't it, that we think salespeople, they all they are thinking about is the 
financial outcome or they're just going to sell me something shy and and I think we have that belief that that's what you're, we're going to sound like when we're actually doing it and, it, and it's not isn't it? if you do it the right way and you're not pushing it on people then yeah it's just about offering them a service that will help them in whatever way give them the outcome that they desire yeah okay. absolutely it's, it's a different mindset on sales isn't it we've just got to overcome it, it. if we have a block on it then yeah it's something else to overcome to do it yeah <laughs> but i think it's the, for me it's the same mindset with everything so people who are afraid to go on video you know, it's it's still the same process. Like you have a duty of care to show up to your for your clients. Like you want to help your clients. They want you to help them on video. They want to be able to see you. They want to be able to hear you talking to them. So it's not about you. It's not about how you look. It's not about how you feel. It's about just doing it for them. Show up for them. They are the people who need you. You know, if you had a client that you needed to to, to have a Zoom call with, for example, you would never dream of going, I'm going to cancel it because I, I look a bit rough today or I sound really silly when I'm on camera. But yeah, we do it with social media. We don't want to put ourselves out there, but it's the same same thing. We're still serving the same clients. That is so true. And it's something yeah, that I, I am still trying to overcome, but I have had a, a huge... <laughs> <laughs> I do, that's it. I go on Zooms all the time and I'm absolutely fine. And, you know, and I encourage my clients to come on the Zooms, you know, one-to-one -one with me <clears throat> and pray to the shoot so we can chat and plan out all the shoot and everything. Um, but I think I've had another shift on my mindset with social media over the last few weeks as well, because I think that was a, a light bulb moment. Well, hang on a minute. If I'm not using all these platforms I've actually got, then people aren't going to get to know me, like me, trust me. And if I don't put myself out there, it's just not going to happen. So I have overcome quite a lot these last few weeks. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm like social media queen now. <laughs> I know. You're going to be like, I'm going to have to rein you in at the end, aren't I? When we get to like the end of the 90 days, I'll be like, oh my God. I'm... Come on. You've done 24 yeah, I've created today, a monster. <laughs> The social media monster just charging around the internet. Yeah, Who knows? Who back. knows? It could happen. <laughs> um, but it's really interesting because I had this, you know, he won't mind me saying, but I have this conversation with Kieran all the time. Like, I cannot get Kieran to come on and do a live with me, but he will turn up to every single Zoom call I do. So he's quite happy being in front of the camera when it's people he knows and that safe space. But there's there are barriers there when it, it comes to doing these kind of things. But, yeah. but I guess you probably find the same, I reckon, with with some of the women that you work with. They're probably very similar with how they feel they look in front of the camera. Yes. Yes. Um, I mean, I have actually done a post today about before and after images that I've um, put on my website. Of So when they actually come in, obviously, we take a picture or they send me a selfie of them with no makeup. And then and after one of the images that we've, they've had done with me and... Um, this particular client, we was having a conversation and she has been all very open about the fact that she has a huge fear about being in front of the camera, real huge fear. So obviously she's stepping out of her boundaries by coming to me in the first mm. place. Um, so it is, it's massive. I mean, I do get that with a lot of clients, but the one thing she did, she went through my website and thinking, oh my God, look at all these gorgeous women. I am never going to look like that. That's not me. They're all super models. Then she got to the before and after section and she said, it was like, wow, they're just normal women. They're just everyday yeah. women. Yes, I can do this. So, it, it, well, yeah, it is in, incredible. The, the mindset, mindset shift for them when they actually come in with me as well. It's just amazing. I just... I love it. I do absolutely love it. I love everything about it. And yeah, most of them, I don't like having my, my photo taken. I think they all say it. I think 99% of my clients do actually say that, but they're there. They do it. How they funny. put themselves in front of me. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just, oh, I'm so blessed. Amazing, isn't it? humbled. Yes. Mm, I do. bet. So what makes them come to you then? So if they don't want to be in front of the camera, what makes them book a photo shoot? Well, hopefully I'm reaching out to them on a level that they're actually understanding about the body positivity and of the self-confidence that they're lacking. Um, and they see my work and see me as well, because that's what I'm getting. I mean, obviously there's loads, there's loads of boudoir photographers out there, a lot of, of these big chain companies. Uh, so 
I am more of an individual and it's more of a one-to-one personalized experience with me too. So I think that helps, that makes a difference. You know, yeah. from the very beginning, I'm in touch with my clients. It's not just, you know, they come in and then off they go and they're passing other people in the corridor and it's not like that at all. So I think that's why people do choose me. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And how many other photographers you know you think about the, the bigger companies how many of them call their clients just to see how they are yeah none of them no they don't it works it's it they work a different way don't they and it's just a way that yeah. I don't work you know that's that's them and you know for yeah. any any women you want to go to them you know that's absolutely fine you know we choose who we want to go to but I think for the women the ladies that do come to me is because they are wanting more of a personalized personalized experience and a woman as well because you know you go to these other companies and they might have male photographers and well they have a lot of different photographers that are working for them so yeah being the fact that I'm female I think makes think makes the difference yes I do yeah I mean thinking I can... now Paul <laughs> No, I just wondered. It was funny when you said that. I was like, oh, yeah, this is really interesting. It's just, I love thinking about the thought process for people. I love always, you know, I talk about it a lot in the program. I think you guys probably get bored of it, of like mapping out someone's process, like mapping out where they're going from to. And it just, there was just something in that then where I was like, oh, I just fascinated to know what, how someone can go from, I do not want to be on camera to then doing a boudoir shoot with you. Like it's, it's an amazing that's an amazing transformation just there before they've even done it it is actually and you're making me realize even more how amazing it is and I suppose <laughs> it does all boil down again to that no like and trust they've got to know me they're liking me and they're putting their trust in me as well which you know is huge yeah they trust the outcome. I, don't, I don't take that lightly yes no yeah they trust the outcome that you're going to deliver and this is what we say all the time you know again when we talk about about sales not to always bring it back to the same sales thing but so you know somebody said yesterday how do I get clients to give me their phone number I was like you just you just ask for it like I was going through the the webinar signups this morning and I think out of we've got about 45 people signed up so far and I think there's two people who haven't given me their phone number out of 45 it's like because they trust me they trust that I'm I'm not going to start spamming them. I'm not going to start sending them text messages in the night <laughs> or, send, you know, <laughs> d- d- using their um, phone number in a way they don't want me to use it. They know I have their best interests at heart and that's why I want to use their phone number. It's part of the process. Yeah. And that's what it's all about as well, isn't it? Doing it the right way. Don't be intrusive. Yeah. Don't be that horrible salesperson who's going to try and pin you down make you buy something that you don't actually want as well yeah. i'd be mortified if somebody booked in with me and they felt pressured to doing so i'd be mortified absolutely yeah absolutely yeah i i, I completely agree and i always say that you know when we because obviously pilot your business is a an interview process like you've got to apply for it and i make sure you know i say when we when we chat got to be your choice this is up to you like i will help you but you've got to make the decision as to whether you want me to help you or not like I can I can only help you if you want me to help you <laughs> and I think that's we, so important we knew though I think I even said I think we'd only been a couple of minutes in on our call and I said you already know that I mean don't you yeah and you know that you like you can, the thing is you can tell that as well with with sales a lot of the time you just sometimes you just know that somebody's gonna they want to work with you they want to take the next steps and it's it's almost a formality process um that is one of the nicest things when you just yeah you know you don't have to go hard on it yeah it does make it easy doesn't it? I've had that as well on calls when I already know that they are in they don't need that extra convincing that it will be life-changing and it will have a massive impact on them um they're already they're already in get me yeah. booked in too yeah I like John's comment. Just popped in at the phone number point. I like that you have my phone number, but don't call me. <laughs> the reason I don't call John <laughs> is because whenever I'm meant to speak to John, I can never get him off the phone. So I just uh, <laughs> don't, so you have to don't. you have to schedule about two hours out of your day <laughs> yeah. just to give him a call, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just don't bother calling him now. It's the it's the easiest thing to do. John, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so next week on Thursday, it's the pilot your, pilot your business webinar. Uh, where we're going to talk through how you can do this for yourself so that you don't need me. Um, but we're going to have a, a community similar to the community that we've built within the paid program. So from Monday onwards, we're going to have a free accountability group. Um, I'm sure Sue will be in there offering encouragement oh, and will. cheerleading. Yes. Well, we do. We have to encourage each other. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Helping each other as well. And then because you might yeah. know something that somebody else doesn't know as well. So it's all about, like Kieran, you just mentioned Kieran. He, he massively helped me at the weekend, didn't it, with, you know, building out the automation and that's his campaign he's giving me some ideas Alice as well yeah. you know like she was like do this it was like oh my god yeah why did I not think about that <laughs> so yeah, yeah it's huge yeah it's yeah so we're going to have this bit. community and we're going to get everybody to take action it's going to have a week of solid action taking and see what amazing results we can get by the end of Friday um okay. so anyone who's watching this who wants to sign up there's a link either up there or down there depending where you're watching it from um and Sue, if people are interested to find out more about you, where can they find you? Just drop me a message. Sue Carley, shall I? Um, can I put it in the comments? I don't know. Um, uh, Teresa, you can't unhear, Teresa, if you're you still can, there. <laughs> yeah, do it. Put I know in. Teresa. <laughs> ah, there you go. Then. Yeah, um, she's going to be coming to me soon, definitely. Um, yes, drop me a message. Perfect. And on your profile, you've got your amazing lead magnet yes which was oh my... the funniest thing when we were talking about that I was like, <laughs> it was, i'm not it sure was how one... much i can help with this <laughs> one of the other ladies what she was on the call wasn't she and her husband was in the background and his ears hey. up and everything yeah seven seven steps to sexy selfies <laughs> that's the one there you go get on it john Stop bentley it, yeah <laughs> <laughs> download it <laughs> it is very good it is very good i did enjoy reading it but i was like yeah it's not what there's you no way i'm really, wrapping myself yeah. up in those bed sheets <laughs> <laughs> come on do they go your wife might appreciate it <laughs> you never know you never, you never know. know you never know <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Sue. It's always oh, a pleasure you. to talk to you. I'm so excited that you um, managed to pick up the phone yesterday and it's worked as well as it yeah. has done. Yes, it's um, given me a lot more confidence in myself to make these calls too. So I've got a huge list still to get through and I'm looking forward to speaking to all the ladies that are on my list, you know, to speak to them because I do have a, um, I can one a little bit sometimes but i like finding out about people i like i like it i enjoy interacting exactly. so okay it's all about it's all about that isn't it so yes yeah, thank you so absolutely. much for inviting me on this it's been great and um, pleasure as always pushing that boundary too yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah. cool well thank you very much everyone sign up to the webinar and we will see you all next week